guys, what is up? This is Juicy Fruit here, and welcome to another texture pack review. And this is the third edition, the third texture pack review that I've that I have been doing this week, and the final one will be tomorrow. So expect another one tomorrow. And that's right. Um, I have been doing texture packs this week, especially for the Minecraft Bonanza that I have started uh, last week, and finally this week. Last week being custom maps. And this week being texture packs because a lot of you guys do really enjoy these texture pack reviews. And yeah, I really want to thank you guys for supporting me. And that's really the reason why I started the Bonanza thing. Um, to give you guys, I guess, a new... I don't know. I don't usually do custom maps. So that's why I did that. And texture pack reviews, as always, you guys seem to love, like it. So here we go. This texture pack is Scribblecraft, and I thought this texture pack was really, really interesting. And I don't think any of you guys suggested it, but I personally wanted to uh, go ahead and review this. I guess to uh, get, show you guys a new texture pack if you guys haven't already heard of this one, uh, and give it a uh, a try. Give it a you know, just try it out for yourselves. Download it. I'll definitely put a link in the description, and. Uh, Come on, let's go to sleep. Damn it. Alright, anyways. It's about to get dark, so I'm trying to get to sleep. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys have heard about this Scribblecraft texture pack. But if you haven't already, you guys definitely need to go and check it out. It is one of my favorite texture packs that I've, I guess, got accustomed to. It wasn't really my thing at first, because, as you can see, most, if not every block, is custom drawn. Customly drawn. Yes, the developer drew out every single one of these blocks, as you can see for yourself. Get it. You, that's what's called scribble crap because he scribbled everything here. Dirt, look at that. Just everything, the bricks, the wood, everything has been customly drawn, and uh, it's just simply amazing. And like I said, like I said uh, before, I do every texture pack review from now on. I'm gonna show you guys the the premise of my let's play world, so you guys can go ahead and tell me if I should use this texture pack or not for my let's plays. So here you go, this is my house as you can see for yourself. It looks great. This, the texture pack makes my world look great. It's, you know, it might not, I guess, um, suit some of you guys, especially because of how, I don't know. I know for a fact that I know some people who I've uh, suggested this texture pack did not really like this very much, especially because, I mean, it doesn't look very refined. It just looks... Like he literally, like it just looks like the developer. Uh, I don't know. Like it doesn't it doesn't seem like the person did pr like did not put a lot of work into it, but he obviously put tremendous amount of work into this texture pack. It's obvious. It's obvious. The lava might not be custom made, but as you can see, the water here is custom made. It's bluish, greenish, and uh, you can even see the little scribbles. <laughs> And I really like like that about that. It's unique. I don't, I've never seen a texture pack like this one so far. And I just enjoy the uniqueness of this texture pack and the amount of hard work that the developer put into this texture pack. It is simply gorgeous. It's simply amazing. It might not be the uh, the the HD realistic um, up up to that level, but because this is a 128 by 120 texture pack, but. It still looks gorgeous, and I highly recommend it to you guys. It is definitely a nine out of ten texture pack. Um, I give it a nine because not everything has been finally uh, um, modified, and uh, you know it's still a work in progress. And maybe he could um, clean up a few of these scribbles, these scribbles, and dabbles here and there. But um, I don't want him to change a whole lot because that's what makes a texture pack unique, you know. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna get really. Uh, specifics. I'm gonna go over the specifics soon, but this is my house as you can see. Let's take a peek in there. Chest, workbench, cobblestone, lava. Here's my little pool here. This is the greenish water. Balcony. Here's another portal here. And let's climb up here, and you can see the uh, the top, the roof of my house, the lava. I'm right, moving along here. You'll be able to see my sand castle. This is a work in progress, but you guys, I'm just gonna give you guys a chance to see it and see for yourselves if you guys like it or not. There it is. 
Now I do want to start using texture packs for my uh, Let's Plays, so just remember to tell me if you guys think that I should use this texture pack for my Let's Play. So here's my sand castle. It actually doesn't look that bad. I'm really liking the sandstone feel of it as well. And whenever you break something, it uh, lights up, as you can see for yourself. And actually, whenever you uh, break something, it looks like it's actually ripping. Like, it's a, it's paper, but it's ripping, as you can see for yourself. It feels like it's ripping. I thought that was a really cool implement, as you can see for yourself. It looks like it's ripping. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. And I'm going to start getting into uh, some specific blocks and uh, various items. Uh, I don't really talk about the items, because I... Re <laughs> I like... I strictly go over the uh, the graphical, uh, more of a uh, more general graphical modifications of the texture pack, and not like like uh, specific like sword. I don't really talk about the sword or compass. I don't really care. Uh, but the compass looks actually really funny because uh, it looks really like literally somebody drew it into Minecraft. <laughs> it just looks so bad, but that's what makes it good. But uh, yeah. So let's get into my main world and we'll go over some blocks there. So see you guys soon. So let's go over the texture packs. And it is night time again. Jeez, every time I do a texture pack review, it just has to be night time. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little, uh, go to bed here a little bit. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, with a good night's sleep, let's go over the texture pack. Now, first things first, what I want to mention was every single block um, has a little grid, I guess you can say. If you have ever, if you have ever used a graph paper, graphing paper, you, you know you notice the same kind of grids here, and um, I guess it's, it's just there to demonstrate the fact that he actually drew all of these out. And uh, some people might criticize it for that, but I actually like it being that. I just like it there. So, I don't know, it kind of demonstrates how much work he put into it. You guys see the blue lines? You have the little grids? Yeah. Alright, so <laughs> let's get into it. Bricks. I, I can't really criticize this texture pack the same way I do with the other ones. Simply because it is totally different. But um, I guess I'll just go over the different types of bricks and if I like it or not. There's the bricks. Eh, I don't like it. It's cool. The cobblestone here as well. Just look for it yourselves. Definitely stays away from the brick-like cobblestone, which I like. Um, the, the like the rocks kind of seem chunky, but you know it's all up to preference. Here's the dirt, as you can see for yourselves. The original, like the regular dirt here, is just a whole bunch of mess. And then it, I, I really don't like the dirt because it's all really messy. But dirt with grass on top kind of looks nice. It's a nice little contrast there. I like that. Here's the pumpkin <laughs> with a little smirk. Uh, bookshelves. The bookshelves look pretty nice actually. And the books have a nice little color to them. Nice. Um, here's the furnace. I mean, the furnace kind of looks. I don't know. It doesn't seem ornate enough for me. It kind of requires. I don't know. It doesn't look that good. I mean. I, I like. <sighs> do you guys know what I'm trying to say? I think this is one of the, the ones that I do not really like about this texture pack is the furnace. All it has is a big hole in the middle. That's it. That's a furnace. But you know, it's not all of the preference, like I said. Here are the chest. It's a chest. Here's another chest. <laughs> Here's the workbench. I really like the tic tac toe on that. I thought that was really cool and innovative. I think some of you guys were really strict on me for uh, showing various items. So I guess I'll just show you guys my bow. The bow. This is how the bow looks like. That's kind of cool. Very, very white string. <laughs> and here's the pickaxe. Diamond pickaxe. Alrighty. Let's continue on here. The, the images, the photos have not been modified. The lava has not been modified. But the water definitely have been modified. I like the greenish color of the water, but I'm not really liking the scribbles too much. It doesn't exactly demonstrate the current. But, you know. I also don't like the stone slabs and how it totally differ, um, differ uh, how it totally differentiates from original cobblestone. But, you know. Whatever. But pool. 
Like I said, the pictures have not been modified. Yep. If you move along here, you'll notice that mobs have also not been modified. They are just plain old mobs. Blue cow. Don't go in there, don't go in there. <laughs> Anyways, let's move along here. The trees look very nice. I'm really, I really love this, uh, love the trees. While the trunks may look nice, uh, the leaves and how the leaves uh, look and how they're drawn it looks very nice. I really like the the leaves as well in the trunk. I don't really like the tree in general. <laughs> what the? Why do I have a bunch of wool oh, here? I'm no idea. Let me just go ahead and remove that. All right, the reeds are very, very um, neon bright. If you know what I'm trying to say, it's very bright. Kind of, I don't know. It kind of stands out, but I guess reeds are supposed to stand out. I don't know. Just look for yourselves, guys. The reed kind of looks shiny and bright. Okie dokie. Minecart looks the same. There's the minecart tracks. Like I said, this is not a total overhaul like Mises or even a LB photorealism. It's not a total overhaul. But um, it still looks good as it is. <laughs> oh man, uh, the glowstone! I must say, this is one of the ones that I do not really like. The glowstone. I mean, <laughs> it's so simplistic, and I don't know. I don't think it really demonstrates uh, glowstone as as well as other texture packs do. But it's, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> here's a uh, soul stand, and here's another wreck. I must say that if it was any other texture pack with us with um, similar uh, textures like this, but that's not hand drawn, I'll probably give it like a 7.5 out of 10. But just because of how much work the developer probably put into the texture pack, I'm gonna simply give it an 8.5 slash 9 out of 10. Um, I really enjoy the uh, all of the drawn textures. We probably put a lot of work into it, and I think we should all appreciate him for that. Uh, I definitely uh, encourage you guys to go and check this texture pack out. There's another portal. The obsidian. I mean, it's it's a solid texture pack uh, as it is as it stands right now, and uh, it's definitely not finalized. He's definitely gonna continue updating this texture pack, and uh, I hope you guys definitely go and check it out. Uh, here's a, here's sand. Sand kind of looks like the uh, the dots. Kind of reminds me of sand grains, and here's sandstone. I don't really understand how why sandstone has a little weird cracks on it. It doesn't really look much like sandstone because the top is just like sand. But you know, the different colored walls also look um, nice simply because they're all the same. The colors are the only only thing that's different. The pattern looks the same, so you can just do whatever you want with it, unlike a Rome craft. But I think that's all about it, guys. I mean, it's totally different from any other texture packs that I've ever reviewed. So it's kind of weird, but I'd suggest you guys go and check it out. Here's note blocks. I actually really like the note blocks. It's very uh, colorful. Hmm. Why is this painting here? All right, I think that's about it, guys. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna hand it here. Here's the record player, it's similar to the note block except for the record player at the top. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. This has been Juicy Food. Make sure you guys like and favorite this video so other people will also be acknowledged of. Scribblecraft. Like I said, I'll leave the link in the description if I forget it. Just why don't you guys just search it in Google? I have so many people just going like, "Oh my God, where's the link? I'm so lost. I am so scared." No, just search it in Google. It's not that hard. Like I, I if I do like if I like do like a, a if I like do a review of a mod or something or like a custom map, why don't you just Google it? Just type in like uh, I don't know, it's Gatecraft Two. On Google, the first thing that pops up will be probably Minecraft related. Just, it's not that hard, but um, I still want to make it convenient for you guys. So that's what I'm doing. But um, please be mature about it. I mean, it's not really that difficult to search for yourself, right? Don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this. This has been Juicy Fruit, and peace out. Peace.